Hey Woodcasters, today I want to do a quick instructional video on how to start a generator with the NSR gas station. First thing we're going to do, put fuel in it. Open up the puff lid. These are pre-screened uh, wood chips made with a PTO chipper. I screen them with half inch hardware cloth. Got to get the fines out or you'll end up with clinkers in your reduction tube. half full to begin with, now it's totally full. Put the puff lid down, latch it. Next thing we got to do is clean out our debris sumps. The debris sumps are here, here, and on the carburetor in back. Simply unscrew them. not just throw this stuff on the ground. Okay, you might have some burning charcoal that could get into dry grass, start a fire. You don't want to do that. I've been there, done that. It's not fun. So, empty it in a steel bucket. How many mechanical engineers does it take to screw in a pipe thread? Sump number two. Fair amount of water in this one. Sumps only need to be hand tight. And the carburetor's in back here. Now, this condensate can contain some nasties. Do not just throw it on the ground, throw it on your fuel pile, let the water dry, and reburn all of the nasties in your gasifier. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to put it in my ash tote. Okay. Carburetor's dry. Okay, sumps are all tight, everything's cleaned out. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to clear the charcoal bed and back below the filters. That's all one step. Now I'm cheating a little bit today. I've got electricity and compressed air going to this unit. This is kind of the scenario you'd have where if you're an off-gridder and you got a PV system, get down to like three quarters and you want to top off, this is what you'd be doing. I could just as easily do all of this with the onboard generator and liquid fuel, but things would just get busy for the video, so we'll keep it simple for this one. I'll show a full-blown start next time. Okay, so right here is your uh, inlet to the flare. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to close off the mixture control. I'm going to shut everything down. I've got a plug in the gas line. Nothing's flowing there. Now I can get a good strong suction. Just open it right up. That's 
it. Filters are clear, char bed is clear. So next thing we're going to do is let's light the gasifier and flare some gas, get her warmed up. The manometer says I'm pulling about four inches of water. So I'm going to light the nozzle. There we go, just had to give her a little bigger flame. Okay, now we just let her warm up until we sustain a good flare. Try to stay out of the smoke. This has a lot of carbon monoxide in it. There we go. Get a little smoke out of her. Got a good flare. So the next thing I like to do is warm up the generator a little bit. Make sure I'm not plating any choke issues. Liquid fuel is on.
that, my friends, is 100% wood gas operation. Now, she does need her automatic mixer, but once the fuel air ratio stays correct, that's all she needs. She'll just keep running like that all day long. And I could switch the fans over onto the generator's output. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you soon.